Welcome back to the TLC Perfect Pond channel. Today we're standing in the bottom of this eight acre pond that we're doing a complete restoration project on. So several videos ago, we showed us draining this pond, removing what fish were in the pond. I'll put a link up here somewhere if you missed that video. So we got it drained. We got the fish removed from here. A lot of people had some questions about what we were doing with those fish, why we were removing those fish why we weren't relocating those fish somewhere else while we were doing this whole project to start with so there wasn't enough forage in here for the fish the bass were below their relative weight or what they should weigh for that length and it had a lot to do with the lack of forage in here there wasn't a strong sunfish population and so the owner instead of kind of trying to rehab everything wanted to just start from scratch and redo everything. A lot of that had to do with some of the vegetation issues on the back of the pond where things are a little shallow. He wanted to make some parts of the pond deeper so he wasn't constantly fighting some of that subsurface vegetation. So it's been a couple months since we drained this pond and collected all those fish and now the heavy equipment guys are out here kind of working on the actual structure of the pond. Once we get that right, then we'll fill it back up and then we'll start the whole stocking process and getting the populations right. So this will be kind of a long-term video today. I just want to give you a quick update on what's going on, show you the improvements they're making to the structure of the pond. So if you didn't catch that pond draining and fish collection video, here's how we collected the fish. All the water was pretty much down to right there at that end and we dug a little canal here which leads to a tractor with a pump. We we're pumping water out up over that hill there. There's a creek down there, so we were pumping water to the creek. We drained it low enough so we could catch all those fish. Now, it took a few months, like I said, between us draining it and collecting the fish for these guys to be able to get out here and start doing some digging. So we did have to keep it drained, although we had gotten all the fish out of there, but to come out here periodically and pump some more water out just to keep this thing somewhat dry so those guys could get in the pond and do their thing. Now, as I mentioned earlier, one of the big issues in this pond, besides the bass being underweight and there being limited forage, was the amount of subsurface vegetation, especially around the edges, and that was because the edges were pretty shallow. So one way to solve that, if you've got a lot of subsurface vegetation along the banks of the pond, is to make the water deeper so light can't get down there to them and you'll have a lot less vegetation. So that's what these guys are doing today, making this edge of the pond steeper so we don't have to constantly battle that subsurface vegetation. So that edge of the pond over there where we were doing all that drainage and fish collecting it's pretty steep. It's a little gradual. I don't know if they're gonna dig that out as well or not, but this was the main area of concern right here. This was pretty shallow. As you can see now, they dug it out and we got a nice steep drop off coming off the land here into the pond and that should help significantly with the subsurface vegetation. And as we walk towards the back of the pond here, these drop offs are getting steeper and steeper. So if we work our way along to where that excavator is there. We're getting to about a six, eight, 10 foot drop off there in some spots. Now, as you can see here, we've got some pretty sandy soil. Usually when you dig down that deep, you eventually hit some clay. This is some really, really sandy stuff. So we can't really walk across where he's digging right there. It's a little too messy, but let's walk on over to the other side of the pond. Looks like they've been doing some work over there as well. Now this back end over here, opposite of where we were earlier, looks like where the majority of the dirt work has taken place so far. So this end of the pond was really shallow. It was just completely covered in pads and other vegetation, basically unnavigable by a boat. You couldn't get in here and fish it. It was just kind of a grown up area. And I think that had a lot to do with the health of the bass population. What forage that was in here was probably hiding in these pads here. And the bass were expending just as much energy to find the food as they were getting from the food. But now it looks like they made some significant improvements here. Got this a lot deeper and it should make some nice fish habitat for predator and prey. So we've still got a ways to go before we can actually start filling and stocking this pond. They've made a lot of progress this week just as far as the dirt work goes, making it deeper in those spots where it was really shallow and getting those edges nice and steep. 
And so we'll come back out here in a couple weeks. Hopefully when they're done with all the dirt work, we'll see what it looks like and just kind of keep you guys updated on this whole eight acre pond restoration project, starting completely from scratch to build a nice trophy bass fishery here. Okay, so here we are a couple weeks after we shot that last footage and the heavy equipment guys are almost done with the dirt work. I think this is the last day they're actually gonna be out here. So I wanna walk you around and show you the improvements they've made since last time we were here. And today we're also gonna be adding some structure to this pond. There are some concrete piles out there right now. We're gonna modify those a little bit. And there's a lot of trees that were taken down around this area recently. We're gonna put those in the pond and make some brush piles so we can have some nice spawning areas for the bluegill that we eventually do have in here. So last time we were here, this area over here to my right had trees all over it, but it's since been cleared. So that behind the pond there was logged recently and the logging trucks had to have somewhere to kind of park and stuff. So they cleared this little area right here and those trees that they pushed down are what we're gonna be using hopefully to build our brush piles later. And also since last time we were here, they've dug out this edge of the pond. They were working on that side over there last time we were here. So they got this dug out nice and steep here. So hopefully we won't have near as many vegetation issues by making a steeper bank there. And we figured that this pond is probably gonna be about eight foot deep in the middle when all is said and done. And it appears that the majority of the work since last time we were here has been done on this kind of back finger of the pond here. This was really, really shallow, covered in pads. You couldn't access it via boat, you couldn't fish it. And we've got it a lot deeper, got the banks a lot steeper. So it'll hold some good water, won't have as many vegetation issues. And it will now make this portion of the pond fishable and navigable by boat. So there was hardly no bank right there when we first started here and so you can see it's been dug out really nicely i'm standing in the middle of it right now so we'll have a nice deep back portion here to the pond as well make some nice fish habitat and then the last portion of the dirt work is being done right there so we were just way over there in that back finger right here is where we collected all the fish on that first video you might have seen and that's where our tractor was sitting draining the water out so he's just kind of cleaning that bank up right there where we had the tractor sitting and that should do it for the dirt work now ideally if you were building a new pond you would have a bulldozer out in the middle and you would kind of scrape the bottom there get it nice and smooth but we're having some issues keeping this pond drained getting a lot of rain it keeps filling back up with water a little bit and so we're not going to worry about the smoothness of the bottom we want to get this thing filled with water as quickly as we can get some fish in here we especially want to get some bluegill in here this time of year so they can go ahead and spawn at least once maybe a few times before we add some bass in the fall so we're going to skip the step of smoothing the bottom i know it doesn't look perfect but it should be just fine and i assume they're going to leave this dock here maybe redo it a little bit this spot right here is where a boat ramp is going to be put eventually so from what we hear they're going to build a nice little boat ramp right here so it'll be easy to back a boat into the pond now let's go down into the pond here and talk a little bit more about the structure now whoever built this pond initially did put some piles of structure in here mostly in the form of these concrete piles like you see behind me here but our biologists want to modify those a little bit not have such a tall stack of concrete but more kind of a linear row of it so instead of just having a big pile like we see here if we stretch it out a little bit kind of lay these concrete pieces linearly along the pond bottom that should give us more available spawning habitat for the bluegill so when the heavy equipment guy gets back from lunch we're going to have him kind of push these around a little bit and hopefully kind of put them in a line as opposed to just a stack and we'll do the same thing with this pile right here so there's several of these piles out here there's the one i showed you earlier there's this one there's one right over there you can see it now it's got a little fat lighted in that pile as well there's another concrete pile way over there and then there appears to be a pile of fat lighted over there 
So there's five existing structure piles out here that were already in the pond and we can utilize those a lot better if we stretch them out a little bit. So we'll stretch those out and then we'll take some of those trees and just try to equally space them out here in the pond. Now that we've got that back finger dug out nicely, we can put some structure back there. So we'll get trees there from where I just showed you. There's some more trees over on that side and we'll just try to scatter them out as evenly as we can. And you may be wondering, because I had the same question, if you just put wood out here, isn't it just going to float as soon as you fill this thing with water? Well, supposedly, if it's green wood, which all these trees were just recently pushed down, so if we put green wood in here, it gets waterlogged real quick and it will stay sunk. If we put old dry dead wood in here it would indeed float so the trick is putting green wood in here it'll get waterlogged and it will stay at the bottom where we want it to be and then lastly in addition to smoothing out these concrete piles putting some of these fresh trees in here we're also going to be adding some artificial structure at some point we don't have that right now to put in here today but we are going to order at least a few of those to put in here just some small kind of four foot tall artificial structure with some branches on it just to give some additional spawning habitat for the sunfish. Yeah, oh my lord, watch me sway, darkness falls and we all pray, hoping for the light of day, down to the river, I have held the devil's hand, felt the weight of my own sin, burdened by the heart of man down to the river down to the river oh, oh bury me carry me oh oh far beneath oh oh far and water me going down deep say oh oh bury me carry me oh oh far beneath Taught me how to live, Daddy taught me how to give. Both of them had their own sins down to the river. Every man has felt the shame. All our blood, it runs the same. Father, hear us as we pray. So we're getting some good structure out here now. I thought he was going to use some off that pile right there, but I guess that stuff's too dead. So he just pushed down a few of those trees right there and then brought them out here. And we want a good many of them. We don't want them too close together. And we want to lay them like that with the stump end kind of on the bank and all those limbs going out into the pond there. We got those rock piles smoothed out as you see there. He's on the other end of the pond grabbing some trees over there, adding some structure on that side too. So if you're adding structure to a pond, whether it's an existing pond or you're digging a new pond and adding structure before you fill it up, kind of like we are here, keep in mind that it's best to have the structure kind of horizontal or along the bottom of the pond. You don't want just a big pile of stumps. When we do electrofishing population surveys in existing ponds and there's a pile of stuff in the middle or somewhere in the pond, we hardly ever find a lot of fish around those big piles. We find more fish where there's stuff along the bottom. And it's also not a bad idea to put some rocks on the bottom of a pond. Now, I don't think we're gonna have the opportunity to do that here because these heavy equipment guys are heading out today. 
but if they were staying we would get some rocks here and we would dump them in certain spots of the pond and spread them out and that also makes them really good cover for the fish so we got the pond dug out we added some structure and what's the next step on this complete pond restoration project well the next step is going to be to add some water obviously we're not really sure how long it's going to take this thing to fill up we do have a pump but there's a pond below here that's at least several acres it's probably going to have to fill up before this one actually starts filling up that pond is dry now so it may take several weeks for this thing to fill up as soon as we get any substantial amount of water in here before it's completely full we're going to start adding some sunfish particularly bluegill so we're going to add two size classes of bluegill in this pond and bluegill is what makes a pond down here go you got to have a lot of bluegill in it to grow big bass so we're going to add a bunch of tiny three inch bluegill but we're also going to add some big mature bluegill that we have at our own stock ponds so we'll get some small guys in here and some big guys in here and we don't want to add the bass and the bluegill at the same time or else the bass will end up eating a majority of the bluegill so we're going to add the bluegill in here we might even add some red ear sunfish as well just to diversify the sunfish population a little bit but we're going to add the bluegill in here hopefully soon and give them an opportunity to spawn at least once maybe two or three times and then it looks like this fall is going to be the ideal time to put the bass in here so we'll let those bluegill populations establish and then we'll come in here and stock bass this fall so i hope you enjoyed this update on our eight acre complete pond restoration project we'll be sure to take you guys along as we start adding water stocking bluegill all the next steps and keep in mind the goal here is to have a trophy bass fishery in this pond and if we do it right like we're planning on doing we expect to see some really nice growth for about two to three pounds a year on these bass and since we posted that first video of this series where we drained and collected the fish in this pond we've had a lot of new subscribers to the channel thank you guys for joining us here welcome to the channel if you haven't subscribed already please do that give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video if you're in the south georgia or north florida area and are interested in pond management services whether that be population surveys vegetation control fertilization liming any of that you can go to our website tlcperfectpond.com there's a contact us form there fill that out and we'll get back with you shortly so stay tuned and we'll be sure to update you guys as soon as something new happens in this pond here and until then have a good one Yourself.